I just want to show you around this photoelectric effect animation. It really is pretty simple. There are just two controls. There's the slider that controls the frequency of the source. This is the metal, and you can see no electrons are coming off the metal, and that means we are below the threshold frequency for this metal. The metal is calcium. Actually, there are three buttons. There's the choice of the metal, there's the slider that controls the frequency of the source, and then this bright and dim button. So the way it works and what you'll be asked to do is to find the frequency, the threshold frequency Let's for each metal. Let's find the one for calcium because right now we're on calcium and the frequency is shown here. So I'll slide it and you can see that at these frequency, there's no photoelectron emission, none still, none still. We go to green and then violet and we don't get an emission. And all the way at the end of violet, right about here, we get an emission. So if you ask for the threshold frequency, the calcium, it's about 7.07 .07 times 10 to the 14th. Um, so that's what you're going to have to do for each metal, find the threshold frequency. And that's about it, actually. Uh, you'll see that if you change the light to bright, you get more photons and more photoelectron emission. Uh, but once you're under the threshold frequency, and this is the key uh, takeaway in the photoelectric effect, if you're below the threshold frequency, uh, what they would do is they would they were wondering why is it that when you're below the threshold frequency for a metal in this case 6.82 times 10 to the 14th even if you make the light brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter what they could not understand before einstein explained it is that if you made the the light brighter and brighter and brighter why is it that it was not sufficient energy to get emission so that's the this is the this is the uh, lab I don't think this lab is going to work on an iPad, but I could be wrong. I don't think the sliders will work on an iPad. So you'll have to go to, for, to a PC for this. Um, so here's how you choose a, a metal. There's cesium. And you can see cal calcium. Let's, go, let's try to see. Yeah, calcium doesn't emit at this frequency, but cesium does. Um, one of the big takeaways on this uh, experiment, too, is that if a metal held its electrons very tightly with a lot of energy, it would take a high threshold frequency uh, to get emission. And remember that the photon energy is proportional to the frequency. So if I double the frequency, I'm going to double the energy. That is it. So.